Oh, I can't do it. It's already snowing again. This area is getting absolutely wrecked when it comes to the snow. I mean, it's super pretty, don't get me wrong, and I'm really enjoying being up here and having a chance to stay at Lake Woods. It's, uh, you know, it's a pretty, pretty decent place to be. I'm gonna head into Hayward, gotta get a new reel. One I was gonna put on the Odyssey that I got from Elliot Rods. Absolutely awesome uh, rod. The reel I was gonna put on it just decided to stop working on me. Yeah, I'll touch base with you when we get there. The destination, heaven on earth, right boys? Yeah, on my scouting today, uh, like we're, we're in it now. I had one last lake that I wanted to check out and uh, yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but it's slow going. Well, <clears throat> yeah, now this spot's kind of a bust. I mean, there's some other people here. There's a lot of snow on this lake. Uh, my foot fell through probably like a good three feet of snow. I think it wasn't too bad in some of the spots, but I'm gonna get out of here. These roads are barely plowed anyway, so it's gonna take me a long time to get back. So I'm gonna get on that. Um, and we'll probably hit a couple of lakes I saw today and tomorrow, and hopefully put some fish on the ice. Well, we're back at it again. Got a little bit of a late start today, but that's okay. Did a bunch of scouting yesterday. It really suck and I don't want to deal with that. But we're going to the least suck lakes uh, that I was able to find for ice conditions. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a whirl and see what we can make happen. Gotta have more gimbals. Well, this is the spot. Uh, skied the spot out yesterday. And uh, clearly, there was some activity not too long ago. Apparently, there was a tournament about a week ago here. The, the slush is frozen now. That's all I really care about right now. That's the whole point of this. So what I'm going to do is, supposedly, there's a weed edge here. And see if there's any crappies in those weeds, if not the basins right out here. So we'll give that a go afterwards. So. Let's uh, try to find some weeds, yeah? All right, so here's what we're gonna be doing. We're just out at the first spot. Gonna be throwing a little tungsten jig in gold with a, some gulp alive. That seemed to be the hot ticket recently for me. Yeah, we got a weed edge right behind us here. We're just fishing that outside edge. See if we can't get some basin fish to swing by too. Um, and this is probably going to be a lot of moving around today. 
I just marked a few, came kind of flickering in a little bit. And I tried keeping it up above them, but I didn't want to come out to play. So we'll probably be bouncing around here for a minute. All right, just got set up on another spot here. We're marking some fish. Let's get it to go. Super lethargic right now. Yeah, they're super inquisitive about it, but can't get them to commit. Man, he was right on it. He kept up with it. Wouldn't drop it though. They are making me work for it today. Well, sometimes you just need a sign to get off the ice. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take care of this. And we're probably just gonna call it a day, I think. Jesus Christ, that one was deep. Uh, word to the wise, don't screw around with fish in the hole with troubles if you don't have to. Um, all right, that's how you know that fishermen are not rational creatures. I'm definitely gonna hit the shallows on the way out because the fish in the deep just weren't cooperating for whatever reason. I'm gonna see if I can like fish inside the weeds or something and at least get a fish on the ice for my troubles. <sighs> Stupid. All right, let's get at it. So one of the other reasons why I'm kind of liking the idea of this spot here is um saw some little uh, insect larvae as I was pulling the auger out, which means that there's still some bug life back in here. So uh, it's got to be worth checking out at least. So we'll see. Well, we found out who the culprits were. It's just these guys. No wonder I haven't been able to touch them. Ugh. I was thinking they were just really finicky crappie. Nope. Back you go. Well, maybe we'll see if um, there's not some other fish mixed in. All right, let's try getting a little shallower here, shall we? If I catch another one of those, I think I'm gonna slap it onto a, a bigger rod. Let's see if I can't catch a pike. Man, I cannot get a bite to save my life right now. There's probably like, there was like probably a good six, seven fish on the screen at one time here, and not a single one of them wanted to go. Might just be another, uh, Day at the resort kind of day. <laughs> now we're going to keep giving it here. We got plenty of daylight left. We're going to switch your lakes here if I can't make this happen. Well, I finally got something decent. Um, probably a pike here. Definitely wrapped in my deucer. Um, yep, hold on. There you go. Now I can fight them proper. 
This is not the ideal rod to have one on, but if I had to, uh, this would be it. He's also, of course, I want to be smart and set up my other rod for pike. And what do you know, I get a ding dong on this rod. And I only got four pound test on. Well, there he is, he's made an appearance. I'm not making this mistake again. There you go. And we got him. Well, not what I was after, but... Oh, <laughs> yep. He probably only saw like a quarter of that fight. But uh, not what I was after, but absolutely happy to see it. Very surprised I did not get popped off. All right, GoPro died as usual. <sighs> but I got this guy, uh, as you may know, on my jigging run. While I was fishing for these dinky little perch, he decided not to go after the perch I absolutely had waiting for him. But let's let him back. Oh yeah, feisty. We're doing all sorts of good things here. Well, folks, it's been a trip leaving Lake Woods today. I will be at the next location uh, in probably less than about 12 hours. But I'll see you guys there. Hope you had fun for this little adventure. Uh, it doesn't stop. There's going to be more uh, to this whole trip. So, yeah, you guys have a good one. Hang tight. Be safe out there. Fish more. Get on the water. Well, wouldn't you have it? We're on the road again. And guess what? It's snowing again. So I'm going to continue to do this route uh, slowly and safely on my way to the Manaqua area. Word. Well, here we are. We made it to Jackson's Lakeside Cottages on Little St. Germain Lake. And let me tell you, this place is looking rather gorgeous. Uh, I have to say, it's, it's, it looks pretty nice. I mean, just hold on, check this out. That's a heck of a view, huh? We even got our own resort dog. There she is. <laughs> Ever alert. Yeah, let's give you a tour of this place. All right, so we open up here to this massive entry. Just a great room to <clears throat> hang out in before you get out there on the water and plan your day accordingly. Beautiful kitchen to work with. Dishwasher, that's always a plus. Let's go check out some of the other digs. So we got this fantastic bathroom here. Plenty of room and space, love it. Got two wonderfully sized bedrooms for everything you need. And then down here into another room. That's just absolutely perfect for hanging out. Absolutely love these antique style photos that uh, tell you a little bit about the resort. We got another incredible view right here. Just a step outside and there's the lake ready to rock. We got my personal favorite, the grill. We'll be using that later. Let's finish this tour up real quick. So I can get unpacked and get ready to rock. We got another bedroom. We got another bathroom. 
and then two more gorgeous rooms. I believe I'll be taking this one right here just because it's under the kitchen and I usually get up first so uh, that way I'm not uh, making breakfast and annoying anybody who's trying to get a little extra sleep. Uh, so I'm going to get unpacked here, hang some stuff up, get some gear dried out as well before having to pack it back out. And uh, yeah, we'll be fishing with some buddies here. Um, probably going to do just a big old spread, tip ups and see what we can get into. Maybe a decent sized walleye, maybe a decent sized pike. We'll find out. We'll see you in a moment, but uh, I'm excited. All right, we're with the boys here, headed down to the lake. How you feeling, guys? All right, first time I'm fishing, man. <laughs> it's gonna be a hell of a trip. It's sliding down. Oh yeah, you might want to like let it go in front of you and like. Yeah, bring it down like uh, like a dog on a leash. All right, this is a little part that'll kill you, so be careful. That's the first thing we do. First thing you do is hold your breath. Look at him go. <laughs> They're all the snowmobilers. They're out there having a good time. So this is the spot. We're gonna get some tip ups out. Oh yeah, I drilled all of these, yeah. I'm a professional. area here uh, and just really trying to get a dial on these uh, we really haven't seen much motion anywhere tried a couple of different spots and moved around a bit and that is what it is at the end of the day we're still having fun we got prime time left so I really think we're gonna kick it off here in a minute once prime time starts so let's stay tuned The fish should be moving in from the deep water. I'm pretty sure that was going on. Um, they're out in the deep water during the day since the guy who's so warm up above. Something over there burning? Is it shack? I, I definitely see, I don't know if it's smoke or if it's just a haze. <laughs> uh, like for a quick second I was like, uh-oh, crap. Oh, uh, there's beers left? You want one? The beer clock? I think it's beer clock, boys. Here. out in little St. Germain, some friends. We ended up not catching anything. And sometimes that's just how it goes. Marked plenty of fish. They were there, wrong time, wrong place. In general, um, I mean, I've caught plenty of walleye out of that lake in, in my time and uh, plenty of just panfish even. But um, yeah, for whatever reason, we couldn't make it go. It still a great time. Uh, love the place, love the experience. If I had a little bit more time to be up here, we'd probably hit a couple more lakes in the area. 
Um, I'm sure the weather had a bit to do with it as well. Uh, but now I got to concentrate on driving through yet another snowstorm. It just doesn't stop up here. I got to drive up to Washburn as I will be ice fishing Lake Superior tomorrow and the day after. So I'm going to focus on the road here, folks. Uh, you sit tight and sit back and enjoy the adventure. All right, here we are at the hotel. Checking in. Finally checking in here. Um, decent little drive, not too shabby. But uh, yeah, we're going to get settled on in here. Probably just going to chill for tonight. Uh, maybe go find some local delicacies and tomorrow we're fishing the big lake i'm super excited it's uh, been a bucket list for me for quite some time even though i've spent quite a bit of time up here i uh, just never really ice fished the big lake so uh i'm gonna be excited to see what we can do with it see you out there oh <sighs> what a trip man but this is this is gonna make it all worth it I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash this and go to bed. Well, not all of it, but most of it. <laughs> we'll see, actually. Yeah, Scarecrow Pizza if you're ever in Washburn. But for real, though, definitely going to get some sleep here. Got everything charging uh, back there. But yeah, we're going to get some sleep. Going to head up bright and early tomorrow and get on to the big lake. See you then. Heck, I'll even take a bluegill at this point. 